Country Park um, is one of five country parks that Hampshire County Council um, manage um, across the county. Leap is located on the coast of the New Forest, one of the few coastal sites of the New Forest. Um, so quite a special area and quite a, an area, a special area in terms of its environmental conservation value as well. We were given a brief um, in collaboration with the guys at Leap Country Park, which is quite near to where our university is based. The project itself was to design a development plan um, which could be up to 10 years which would consist of any buildings that we chose, uh, rearrangements of the site or whatever else it might be, but it was mainly to focus on bringing more people to the park. What's really interesting is the different way they've approached it and the fact that we've got very different concepts. Um, and that's, that's kind of quite useful because there are elements that you will look at uh, from the different designs, the different concepts, there is something in all of them that you kind of think, oh yeah, that'd be a, that's a good way of thinking about it. Or maybe even fact making you think, oh, that's a, a different way of thinking about um, um, what we could develop on site. The group wanted to really impress um, Leap Country Park with our proposal and to sort of hit all the key points that they were after. And then, you know, you've done, you know, because it's something that you can showcase when you finished isn't it? When you go out, you've got your portfolio, you can say, well, this was a live project and this is the feedback that we actually got from the councillors and from the country parks. It's nice to have something you can show off afterwards. When well, Leap Country Park Management team contacted us about this project and explained to us that they would like to replace their temporary educational building by a permanent one, we spotted a very important opportunity for our uh, students. Students can talk to a real client, uh, analyze their brief, discuss design development ideas, and then even towards the end of the project, present their project to this real client and get feedback on it. What's been nice about the LEAP project is that it's, it's new and it's fresh, um, and they can take it in all sorts of directions. The, the landscape down there gives them the opportunity to do something in the woods, in the trees, something on the beach, or something in the sea. It's you know multifaceted, and they can just go with all sorts of different directions. The nice thing about working with students is that they take a, have taken a really fresh approach to it. Um, so I think some of the real benefits of that were just came at it from a different angle. There was a real variety of ideas and and quite thought provoking. I think they had really taken. Um, I was really quite impressed with how well they'd taken that brief on and really considered that brief in their proposals. And this is a bit different this year because we're working remotely. Uh, usually we'd sort of brainstorm as a group and do lots of hand sketching and things like that and then review everything physically and manually almost. But um, obviously we can't do that when we're all dotted around the country. So um, we kept with the hand drawings, but um, sort of made sure that we scanned everything in and used uh, OneDrive in particularly to um, sort of dump all of our all of our information in so that we could still review as a team through Teams uh, with just one of us sharing the screen and working through the work that everyone had done. So sort of, I mean, it, had, it has its challenges working remotely, uh, but I think given the circumstances, we've managed to deal with it quite well. Yeah. Um, we've, you know, we've, we went on like site visits, we kind of basically like, looked at the site, uh, tried to understand it the best we could before we made any decisions and yeah, it was, it was a process of understanding the site and understanding what the clients wanted, which was, you know, more income and, and, it, and to expand Leap to make it, you know, to give it more customers and to give it more variety on their site and it was, yeah, it was it's, it's quite a journey, yeah, across the few months of, you know, researching, developing, you know, discussing as a group, trying to figure out what we're going to do and how we're going to approach everything. And yeah, it was a it was quite an interesting project to, to do, yeah, definitely, yeah. It's been really good to collaborate with other people um, because you get to see some, some different points of view that you might not see when you're working on your own projects. Um, I know there's been some, point, some points um, that people in my group have picked up on that I wouldn't have even thought about or didn't even notice so that part has been the group collaboration has probably been my favorite part as it's um, like a real team sense and there's like a, a, a genuine sort of passion for the project rather than just here's the brief make a building and then that's that. Uh, I did the education centre and that was quite an interesting one to do I've not done schools or uh, an educational room before uh, I do work so I am in an architectural practice so most of the stuff I do is just homes and houses and that kind of thing so it's nice to do something different 
as something that meant I had to go out and learn something, <laughs> which was the whole point of doing the course is to expand and to be able to develop what I'm capable of. Some really creative designs on buildings, uh, particularly looking at sustainable elements. So they looked at using large glazing uh, panels to, to let natural light in, green roofs, rainwater harvesting, incorporating the new technologies that are coming in, into building design at the moment. They're, they're not just teaching us to design buildings, they're teaching us sort of the economics of the building industry, sort of management practices and things like that. It, it, it covers more than just how to design a building. It's covering how to run a practice as well, how to market yourself. It's, yeah, it, almost multidisciplinary to an extent. The environment at the university and, and the facilities there have been really, really good. The lecturers have been fantastic. They've been very helpful. They're very friendly. You forget in the moment how much progression you're making until you like, you're hand it in and you're like, wow. Just rereading the brief, what I started off with and what I've done, it's, yeah, it's quite a nice feeling actually, yeah. When you actually put it into, put all the research that you've done behind it and use all the programmes that we've learned to use here at Solent, um, you, you get a lot of satisfaction from knowing that this could actually really work and my designs are, are, are good, like they actually could work in the real world. Um, and I think when you, when you, after you've finished a project and you've handed it in and then you look back at the work you've done, it's, it's just the sense of pride, really. I think that's probably been what I've enjoyed the most from this course.